Welcome listeners to AI Unraveled, demystifying frequently asked questions on artificial intelligence. I'm your host, Anna, and in this episode, we'll be diving into the latest AI developments from October 21st to October 28th, 2024. Get ready for an exciting journey through the cutting edge advancements shaping the future of artificial intelligence. Let's dive into Google's upcoming release of Gemini 2.0 scheduled for this December. It's hard to believe it's already been a year since the initial Gemini model was unveiled. Google is aiming for a broad availability similar to previous versions, which means we can expect it to be accessible to a wide range of users and developers. However, it's not all smooth sailing for the tech giant. Reports suggest that Gemini 2.0 is facing some performance challenges. The new model apparently isn't quite meeting the original expectations set by Google's team. This isn't entirely surprising, as we've seen similar trends across many top model developers in the AI field. To address these challenges, Google might be considering a two-pronged strategy for the Gemini 2.0 release. This could involve offering access to both developers and general users, while also balancing this rollout with ongoing projects like Project Astra. It'll be interesting to see how Google navigates these hurdles and what the final product will look like when it hits the market in December. Anthropic has made some exciting announcements this week that could significantly advance the capabilities of AI assistants. They've introduced a new computer use feature for Claude, allowing the AI to interact with computers much like humans do, by looking at screens, moving cursors, clicking buttons, and typing text. This opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for AI assistants with computer tasks. Additionally, Anthropic unveiled two new AI models. The first is Claude 3 Poiv Haiku, which promises to be a more nimble and efficient version of their AI. The second is an upgraded Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which has shown major improvements in coding abilities and tool use. These advancements could revolutionize how we interact with AI assistants, making them more capable of complex computer-based tasks and potentially boosting productivity across various industries. As AI becomes more adept at using computers like humans do, we may see it taking on increasingly sophisticated roles in software development, data analysis, and other technical fields. In a significant development for multilingual AI, Cohere has unveiled AIA Expanse, a groundbreaking family of models designed to excel across an impressive 23 languages. This release marks a major leap forward in the field of natural language processing. What sets AIA Expanse apart is its remarkable performance compared to other leading open weights models. The AIA Expanse 32B model, in particular, has shown superior results when pitted against formidable competitors like Gemma 227B, Mistral 8x22B, and even the much larger Llama 3.170B. But it's not just the larger models making waves. The AIA Expanse 8B has also demonstrated outstanding capabilities outperforming other models in its parameter class, such as Gemma 2.9b, Llama 3.18b, and the recently released Ministral 8b. This breakthrough in multilingual AI has far-reaching implications for global communication and information accessibility. By breaking down language barriers, AIA Expanse could potentially revolutionize cross-cultural collaboration, international business, and even education on a global scale. Genmo has made waves in the AI community with the release of their research preview of Mochi One, an exciting new open source video generation model. This development is particularly noteworthy as Mochi One has demonstrated competitive performance against leading closed models in the field. What sets Mochi One apart is its open source nature, licensed under Apache 2.0. This means it's available for both personal and commercial use, free of charge. The implications of this are significant, as it democratizes access to advanced video generation technology. Currently, users can experience Mochi One at genmo.i Play, where they can explore its capabilities firsthand. For those interested in diving deeper, the model's weights and architecture are available on Hugging Face, allowing researchers and developers to study and build upon this technology. It's worth noting that the current 480p model is already live, with Genmo promising an even more impressive Mochi One HD version later this year. This progression showcases the rapid advancements in AI-driven video generation and hints at the exciting possibilities that lie ahead in this field. In an exciting development for the text-to-video generation space, Rhymes AI has unveiled Allegro, a groundbreaking open-source model that's turning heads in the AI community. 
Allegro stands out for its efficiency and impressive capabilities, transforming text inputs into 6-second videos at 15 frames per second and a crisp 720p resolution. What's particularly noteworthy about Allegro is its performance relative to existing models. It not only surpasses other open-source offerings, but also outperforms most commercial models in the market. In fact, Allegro is nipping at the heels of industry leaders like Hiluo and Kling, ranking just behind them in terms of overall quality and capabilities. The open-source nature of Allegro, released under the Apache 2.0 license, means that developers and researchers can freely access its model weights and code. This accessibility opens up a world of possibilities for innovation and experimentation in the field of AI-driven video generation. Moving on to another exciting development, Meta AI has recently released quantized versions of their Llama 3.2, 1B, and 3B models. This is a significant step forward in making powerful AI models more accessible and efficient. But what exactly does quantization mean, and why is it important? Well, quantization is a technique that reduces the precision of the numbers used in a model, effectively shrinking its size without significantly impacting its performance. This has several key benefits. First, these quantized models have a reduced memory footprint. This means they can run on devices with limited memory, opening up possibilities for AI applications on smartphones, tablets, and other resource-constrained devices. Second, quantization leads to faster on-device inference. In simple terms, this means the AI can process information and make decisions more quickly, which is crucial for real-time applications. Third, these models offer improved accuracy and portability while maintaining the quality and safety standards we expect from Meta AI. This balance of efficiency and performance is what makes these quantized models so valuable. The implications of this development are far-reaching. It could lead to more sophisticated AI features in mobile apps, smarter IoT devices, and AI-powered tools that can run offline or in areas with limited connectivity. Essentially, Meta AI is bringing the power of large language models closer to end users, paving the way for more personalized and responsive AI experiences in our daily lives. Stability AI has made waves in the AI community with the release of Stable Diffusion 3.5. This latest iteration comes with multiple model variants, offering users a range of options to suit their specific needs. The release includes Stable Diffusion 3.5, Large and Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large Turbo, with Stable Diffusion 3.5 Medium joining the lineup shortly after. What sets these models apart is their high level of customization, especially considering their size. They're designed to run efficiently on consumer hardware, making advanced AI capabilities more accessible to a broader audience. But perhaps the most significant aspect of this release is Stability AI's commitment to open access. They've made these models available under their community license, which allows for both commercial and non-commercial use at no cost. This permissive licensing approach could have far-reaching implications for AI innovation. By removing barriers to entry, Stability AI is essentially democratizing access to cutting-edge AI technology. This move could potentially accelerate development in various fields, from creative industries to scientific research, as more individuals and organizations can now experiment with and build upon these powerful models. In a significant move for AI developers, Hugging Face has recently unveiled its generative AI services, aptly nicknamed Hugs. This new offering is designed to simplify the process of building AI applications using open models, all while keeping the infrastructure under the developer's control. Hugs represents a major step forward in democratizing AI development. By providing an accessible platform for working with open models, it opens up new possibilities for both seasoned AI professionals and those just starting their journey in the field. One of the key advantages of Hugs is its potential to accelerate AI development cycles. Developers can now quickly prototype and deploy AI applications without the need for extensive infrastructure setup or deep expertise in model hosting. Moreover, Hugs addresses a crucial concern in AI development, data privacy and control. By allowing developers to host models within their own infrastructure, it provides a level of security and compliance that is often critical for enterprise applications. The launch of Hugs could have far-reaching implications for the AI ecosystem. It may lead to an increase in AI-powered applications across various industries, as the barrier to entry for developing such applications is significantly lowered. This could drive innovation and potentially lead to new use cases we haven't even imagined yet. Runway's latest innovation, 
Act 1, is making waves in the world of AI-driven video content creation. This groundbreaking tool allows users to generate expressive character performances using just a single driving video and character image. The implications for filmmakers, animators, and content creators are truly exciting. Imagine being able to bring any character to life with realistic movements and expressions, all powered by AI. Act One opens up a world of possibilities for indie filmmakers working on tight budgets, allowing them to create high-quality character animations without the need for extensive motion capture sessions or costly CGI. For YouTubers and social media content creators, Act One could revolutionize the way they produce animated content. They could easily create engaging, character-driven videos with minimal resources, potentially increasing their output and creativity. In the world of advertising, Act One could enable rapid prototyping of commercials and marketing videos, allowing agencies to quickly test different character concepts before committing to full production. As we continue to see advancements in AI-driven video tools, it's clear that the future of content creation is becoming more accessible and innovative than ever before. Let's quickly run through some other notable AI developments from the past week. IBM released new Granite 3.0 8B and 2B models under the Apache 2.0 license, showing strong performance across academic and enterprise benchmarks. Playground AI introduced version 3 of their image generation model, focusing on graphic design applications. Meta has been busy releasing several research artifacts, including Meta Spirit LM, an open source multimodal language model that combines text and speech, as well as an update to their Segment Anything model, now at version 2.1, for improved image and video segmentation. Hyper AI launched version 2.0 of their video model, boasting lifelike motion and intricate details, while Ideogram introduced Canvas, a creative board for organizing and generating images with features like Magic Fill and Extend. Perplexity added two new features, internal knowledge search and spaces, enhancing team collaboration and information organization. Google DeepMind updated their Music AI Sandbox and Music FX DJ tools, aiming to boost musicians' workflows and make music generation more accessible. Microsoft released OmniParser, an open source tool for interpreting UI screenshots, which could improve LLM-based UI agents. Replicate announced a playground for experimenting with image models, currently in beta. Cohere's Embed, 3 AI search model is now multimodal, capable of generating embeddings from both text and images. DeepSeek released Janus, a 1.3B unified multimodal language model for multimodal understanding and generation. Google DeepMind open-sourced their SynthID text watermarking tool to help identify AI-generated content. Eleven Labs launched Voice Design, allowing users to generate unique voices from text prompts. Microsoft announced upcoming autonomous agents for Copilot Studio, with 10 new agents planned for various Dynamics 365 teams. Elon Musk's XAI startup launched an API for developers to build on their Grok model. Lastly, Asana introduced AI Studio, a no-code builder for designing and deploying AI agents in workflows. These developments showcase the rapid pace of innovation across various AI domains, from language models and image generation to music creation and workflow automation. Now, let's turn our attention to an exciting new release in the world of AI education. Jamgatech has launched a mobile app called AI and Machine Learning for Dummies Pro. This innovative tool is designed to help anyone master AI and machine learning concepts right from their smartphone. The app offers a comprehensive learning experience through a variety of interactive features. Users can engage with quizzes, work towards certification exams, and explore animated concept maps. These visual aids are particularly useful for breaking down complex topics into digestible chunks. AI and Machine Learning for Dummies Pro covers a wide range of subjects, including artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, and generative AI. It also delves into more specialized areas like large language models, natural language processing, and explainable AI. What sets this app apart is its focus on practical application. It includes sections on AI and machine learning optimization, as well as important discussions on AI ethics and bias. This holistic approach ensures that users not only understand the technical aspects, but also grasp the broader implications of AI in our society. Whether you're a beginner looking to dip your toes into the world of AI or a professional aiming to expand your knowledge, this app offers something for every skill level. 
It's an excellent example of how technology can be used to democratize access to AI education, making these crucial skills more accessible to a wider audience. That wraps up our AI Weekly Rundown for October 21st to October 28th, 2024. What an exciting week it's been in the world of artificial intelligence. We've covered groundbreaking developments from major tech giants and innovative startups alike, showcasing the rapid pace of AI advancement. Thank you for tuning in to AI Unraveled, demystifying frequently asked questions on artificial intelligence. I'm Anna, and this podcast is produced by Etienne Newman, a senior software engineer and AI enthusiast from Canada. We hope you found this episode informative and engaging. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of AI. Remember, the future is being shaped by these technologies, and staying informed is key to understanding and harnessing their potential. See you in our next episode.